Hey, what's up everybody? We are biking around New York City. The New York City Marathon is set up for weeks in advance. They start building the Finnish Pavilion and a whole bunch of other buildings, but they're still building the grandstands and setting up the Finnish area and just prep, uh, preparing where the finish line and where the park will be closed off on Sunday. So we've just been checking it out. I'm here in the city, but I'm gonna head back home to Beacon now, uh, gather some stuff and head right back out not too long from now so I can be here in my hotel for the marathon uh, in Manhattan. I love this city in the fall. Exciting stuff going on in the city for the marathon. We'll be right back there. First, I have a few errands that I got to run out here in Beacon, just an hour north of the city for anybody who's not familiar. Uh, got to get some body glide, get ready for the marathon. Also have to pick up something that I want to use to actually film the New York City Marathon from Best Buy, so we'll stop by there. But yeah, just a few errands to run and then we'll be right back in Manhattan. I'm feeling good. It's been three weeks now since the Chicago Marathon and everything that happened there. So we'll continue to push, continue to see how I feel, and uh, I'm just ready for New York City. And so here we go. So hopefully this makes filling the New York City Marathon much easier. I got this Volta battery uh basically what it is is a handle for the gopro camera that's also a battery pack so hopefully that'll last the entire marathon and i don't have to change batteries because last time i did this i changed the battery like three or four times throughout the marathon so pretty crazy i had to bring a whole bunch of batteries with me in my waist belt and change them out while i was running the race so this year this should make it much simpler hopefully the new camera works and doesn't limit how many clips i can take going to be a better experience. It's going to be a better vlog, so subscribe if you haven't already. I'm pretty full. This is going to be a really short run. Just trying to cram a lot of things into one day all at once, all over the place. But it's good to loosen up the legs. And I just want to tell you about that sauna blanket really quickly. It's a product that was sent to me for free by the company and I'm going to get a chance to do a full review on it. So as I'm recovering from the New York City Marathon and the Chicago Marathon, honestly, still at this point, It'll be a lot of fun to see how it helps my legs recover, my body recover, and you know, if you've been following, you know Megan has had back issues, so I'm interested to see how it helps her as well. And I'll tell you all about it. I'll have a video coming soon about that sauna pod, and uh, hopefully it'll work out really well for us, but I'm excited to try it. And uh, yeah, video coming soon on that. But other than that, let's finish up this run. Nova Blast are feeling good. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't aggravating my ankle at all. And uh, we'll be back inside in just a moment, wrap things up with some of the final details of where I'll be for the marathon weekend, just tomorrow. <laughs> elevated during this easy run. I guess it's sort of like the effect of when you go into the summer. I've been running in cold weather 
now the sun is right on me. It's pretty warm. My body's heart rate's just higher than usual because again, it got used to cold weather and here we are with hot. So it's just again, why you gotta be careful during the marathon if you're not used to it. But keep in mind, I've also been off my feet or not running really for like three weeks now. So that could play a part of it too. So yeah, just heart rate's higher than I thought. Hopefully I'm all right. <laughs> Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna pop the run up on your screen now. We won't talk too much about it today, really just getting my legs moving, continue to move and run a little bit going into the New York City Marathon, not really training for any gain or purpose of improving my fitness at this point between Chicago and New York City. So instead, let's jump into first thing. My bib number for the New York City Marathon is right here. If you wanna track me, definitely feel free to do so. Like I mentioned, this is going to be an easier run for me. Just going to go out and have fun and create a fun New York City Marathon vlog and uh, just, you know, run with my friend Lauren and, and have a good day out there and have a fun experience. It is going to be a little bit warm, unfortunately. But again, I think for me, I'll be fine. I'll just be out there having a good time. So track me on the app. Now, where else am I going to be? First things on Friday night, I am going to go to the opening ceremonies for the New York City Marathon. I've actually never gone. I've seen pictures and photos, so I want to go and experience it for myself. I believe it starts at 5 p.m. on Friday night. So again, if you want to come say hello, I'll be there watching the opening ceremonies. On Saturday, I do have a shakeout run that I'm planning to join, and it's going to be the run from Columbus Circle and Believe in the Run. Uh, Kofuzi, Michael Coe is going to be there, uh, Ben Johnson, a whole bunch of other runners are coming out, and we're going to have the opportunity to try some of the New Balance sneakers as well. The new New Balance SC Elite 3 will be there, a whole bunch of other New Balance shoes. So Believe in the Run, Kofuzi, like I said, lots of other names. You can check it out. It'll be 10.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. Again, if you want to say hello, a lot of other people to say hi to there. A lot of big names, a lot of fun. I'm sure it's going to be a massive group. I think they have 550 RSVPs already for that shakeout run. So definitely RSVP if you haven't already and you want to go. It's going to be a lot of fun and not even the marathon yet that day. Later in the afternoon on Saturday is my expo time, so I'll be in there, I don't know 100% sure when yet, but sometime between 12.30 and 4 p.m. I think is the window. So it's a pretty big window, I just don't know, you know, I'll be back and forth between showering after the group run. I don't know if anything will extend from that group run for a little bit longer and I'll end up going to the expo later, but you might be able to catch me at the expo and either way, that's when I'll be there on Saturday afternoon. Then for Sunday, this is the first year I'm going to be taking the Staten Island Ferry. Just looking to change it up, I've always taken the bus from the New York Public Library at Bryant Park. It was a little bit easier for me. You get to sleep on the bus. It takes a couple hours, so I just always figured I could walk out the door, sit on the bus, and go to sleep until we got to Fort Wadsworth this year to get a little bit more of the full New York City Marathon experience. I will take the ferry, get to go by the Statue of Liberty, then we take a bus from the uh, landing part in Staten Island where you're right near the waterfront and actually takes you over to the again starting line in Fort Wadsworth so that'll be the plan first time on the ferry I'll be excited to do that and I have to double check what wave we're going to be in but we are taking a 6 45 a.m ferry and then I'll be on Staten Island in the starting village until our start wave which is probably sometime around 10 30 or 11 uh, we're going to be in a later wave together I'm going to be dropping back so Sometime between, again, 6.45 taking the ferry and 10.30, 11 a.m. will be our start time. And then it's off for the New York City Marathon. So I just wanted to share those details with you guys in a smaller vlog, you know, not something big in New York City Marathon based in case you want to follow along. You want to say hello, wanted to keep it a little bit smaller and just to a video with a smaller group of people that'll probably be more like my subscribers and everything like that. So good luck to everybody out there running if I don't see you. I hope we have some cooler weather somehow squeeze in there on Sunday, but either way, make sure you hydrate, make sure you're really taking all the fluids you can in on the course. Be safe, slow down in the beginning. I've experienced a lot of the New York humidity this summer and I thought it was rough. So a warmer, humid day, unfortunately, for the marathon this year. And all I can say is just be safe and be careful if you're not used to it. It can really come back and get you. So take it slow and you'll enjoy it a lot more than if you really try and go out hard and you're just not used to that heat or humidity uh, on a race day. So like I said, be safe and I hope to see you in the next video.